Hiya, I'm back. Well, the uh, Mini B is finished. Um, she's covered. Um, I've got two servos installed, which I'm going to go through in a moment. So I'm going to go through servos, radio installation, and we're going to make the um, little power pod that sits on top. Uh, and just discuss a few options with that. So with further ado, let's crack on. Right, okay, so the first thing is servos. Let me just show you what I have used. I got these from Robot Birds. I've got no, like Angel Wings, I have absolutely no link to either of these companies. Um, that's their Jenning. If I hold that there for you, you'll be able to see that. That's their Jenning D531BBs. They're digital. Um, cracking little servo, drops straight in. Now, let me just quickly plug this in. I'm just using a cheap Overlander 300 milliamp hour um, battery. Just remember when you're switching on, transmitter first. Always make sure that the throttle's closed. So at the moment, um, this is what we've got. And if I can just show you that. Now you'll notice that on mine, I've got to confess, I took my... Um, Balsa with push rods out and went to carbon. That's purely because I'm six foot three and I got massive hands and I found it complete faff trying to get it in. Um, but that was just me. There's absolutely no wrong with the bolts that's included in the kit. But I just found for me it just gave me a bit more space. So they're the servos installed, and what I have done is I've just screwed them down and then just wicked in just the tiniest little bit of CA just around the screws just to keep them in place. So that's the servos I've used. Okay, so I've uh, we've just gone through the servos and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sort of skip and then flip back. So I think the next thing we're gonna talk about is the power pod for the B. And this is what you're gonna need in your, out of your kit to um, build it. It's fairly simple. So what we need to do is we've got these two plates here, which Actually fall out because the laser cutting is so good. Um, I'm just going to give those a little gentle lift just to get rid of um, any of the laser tags. Now, there you go. So, I mean, it's fairly explanatory to be honest with you, but I have had somebody ask me um, just to demonstrate. So the idea is, is that we are going to add that to that, like so. Then the next step is we are going to add the motor mount onto there, like so. And it's important to make sure that these fit on um, with the little lugs. Now what I would also suggest is, is that we might need a little bit of easing just to get those to fit. Now, because it was just easier to do it before you start, my advice is, is I would actually put the side pieces on first and get this all sorted and glued, like so. Because that's just going to make it easier to handle. Um, and then you've got your motor mount to go on here like so. Um, it's just easier to handle than having the plate. So my advice is I put this together just like I've done. And then when you've got that all done, then this is from hobbyrc.co.uk. And I will, there will be a link here. This is an Emacs Eco. 1106 it's 450 kV motor and that is about to go on there like so then the next thing we're going to need is we've got a prop which is going to pop on there like so and you'll see that it's uh, the twin screwed and the prop 
uh, is also from um, hobbyrc.co.uk and that's the HiQ Prop T3x2 by Blade Propeller. You can get them in different colours, so there's that. So we're going to add that to that and then the other thing we're going to need is um, speed controller. So the one that I'm going to use um, is going to be from Robot Birds. As I say, I have no links to these companies. So Robot Birds, they do one in brackets, which is a Hobby King 6 amp, sorry, Hobby Wing, which is a 6 amp Pro ESC and a 0.8 amp Beck, and it's suitable for 2S LiPos. So that's going on to there with the prop. <clears throat> now one last thing we need to talk about is the battery and the battery I'm going to use with the power setup is this so this is a um, it's a Turnergy it's a Nanotech it's at 11.1 volts two cell and it's hundred and eighty milliamp hours now that's for the power setup the other thing I am considering is um, I might just keep with this whole system because in your kit there will be a little hole to be able to add um, in the servo tray, there's a little hole so you can feed this hole up through it. So um, I might just stick with this system. Now, a couple of other things I'm going to suggest as far as powering it up if you're using just as a glider. Another suggestion which works quite well is a NIM battery from Overlander. And so a nickel metal hydride battery, it's 300 milliamp hour. So these are half AAA cells. That seems to work quite well. And one other which is a personal favourite of mine because they last for absolutely yonks. Now, that's a standard receiver battery. This is a Nanotech. It's a 1000 cc, 3.7 volt. And I have no trouble running this through my Futaba receivers. Um, and it will go for absolutely yonks. So there's that version. And also, so that's from Hobby King, and this one's from Hobby King, which is exactly the same, but this is 650 milliamp hour, 3.7 volt um, cell. They all work um, in combo, but I won't be using these for power. Um, I would imagine, um, as long as you don't rag it, this is going to last for absolutely months anyway, um, particularly using it just on a slope, as a slope sawer. Now, my plan for installing the gear, my what I'm going to do, do is I am going to just add my battery. A um, little tip here with the battery hinge, the door hinge. Make sure that the door hinge hinges from the front, not the back, because if the wind gets underneath it, it's going to work like a massive air brake. All I intend to do is I'm going to cut myself a little bit of EPS foam. I'm just going to drop that down inside and then be able to um, sit my battery. Um, so I'm going to, got a little bit of foam, I'm going to sit in there um, and I'm going to just sit my battery on there with the receiver and then... Um, right. right, so there we go. Um, I've I finished the pod, the prop's on. Um, I've just quickly set up the gear and plenty of power more than enough power for this. Um, so that's my mini B done. I hope you enjoyed the, uh, the build. Um, I definitely did. I'm looking forward to Angel Wing Design's um, next project. As I say, I have no financial links to that company whatsoever. I just got the balsa building bug uh, during lockdown and I really enjoy making the videos. So if you enjoy the videos, please subscribe. Um, I'm not going to pester people about that, you'll either get it or you won't. Uh, but thank you for those who have subscribed and all I can tell you is when the weather does get better I have some uh, major flying projects to do and also some fairly large build projects to do as well. So, see you in the next video.